WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. Uh, I'm going to put, bring the chart up of the S&P 500 cash. This is the cash market. Those of you that get my newsletter or listen to me just about every day, I was very concerned the fact that uh, we could only make the 78% level in the S&P futures, but the cash were going higher and higher each day. And today, you can see they've gapped up. Now, folks, this could be a gap like this one. In other words, you could have a long move to the upside. There's no reason to think that this thing is going to change today, tomorrow, two days later. It might up here at the 1.27 or maybe up here at the 1.618. No one knows that. I work on patterns. When patterns fail, stand aside. Now, I will show you. You can still trade it. My gosh, it was easily tradable today. You had a really nice 382 buy signal in the S&P. Now, we had the report out, of course, and that made the market jump up. Now, the one thing that I'm going to do on the show that comes up, the 24-7 show, I'm going to take a look at Goldman Sachs, and I'm going to take a look at United Healthcare. Each of those stocks, Goldman Sachs sells for 460 and uh, the United Healthcare sells for 500 and change. Those are the two largest stocks in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is price weighted, which is the wrong way to do it. You could have a Dow in the stock market, uh, Dow stock, and it's only got 50 shares, and it could be, you know, trading for 2,000, and yet it gets more weight than something that it has a, you know, capitalization of it. Take all the stock, multiply it by the price of the share, that gives you your capitalization, and that tells you where the money is really going. But uh, that's the Dow family's choice. Uh, nothing you can do about that. Now, the one thing I'll be watching, we have this big gap up in here. I want to go back, and I want to see if there are any, there, 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 you, you'll notice that there'll, there'll not be an unfilled gap here. See, this gap was filled right here. This gap will be filled too. Whether it's in my lifetime, eh, remains to be seen. So anyway, that's the main thing that we're going to be watching. I'm looking for markets that have sold off a lot. You see, that sold off about uh, uh, just about a month, okay? It's just about a month it sold off. You don't see any sell-offs in a month in here, folks. This is a really big market, and it's moving fast, and you don't want to stand in front of it as of yet. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. of 